By the end of this lesson, you should be able to determine the focal point and focal length of a concave lens, draw ray diagrams to show the position and characteristics of the image formed by a concave lens. What happens when light passes through a concave lens? The light is refracted and diverges from a point in front of the concave lens. When light passes through a concave lens, the light diverges from a point. A concave lens is also called a diverging lens. The reference line that passes through the middle of the lens is called the principal axis. The optical center of the lens lies on this line. Light rays parallel to the principal axis converge to a point called the focal point or principal focus. The distance from the center of the lens to the focal point is called the focal length, F. What can you say about the focal point and the focal length when the lens is thicker? When the lens is thicker, the focal point is nearer and the focal length is shorter. Observe the animation carefully. You will see the three rules of refraction for a concave lens. Consider an object as shown. An incident ray travelling parallel to the principal axis of a diverging lens will refract through the lens as if coming from the focal point of the lens. An incident ray which passes through the centre of the lens will continue in the same direction as when it entered the lens. An incident ray travelling towards the outer focal point will refract through the lens and travel parallel to the principal axis. The incident rays diverge from a point on the same side of the lens as the object. This is where the image is formed. Observe the animation to see how a whole image is formed by a convex lens. Is it necessary to draw all these rays to determine the image? We only need these two rule rays to determine the image. We can use the third to check. Look at the image formed by the lens. What can you say about the location of the image? Is it situated before or after the lens? The image is situated before the lens. It lies between the object and the lens. What type of image is this? Real or virtual? The image is virtual. Compare the size of the image to the original object. Is it diminished or enlarged? The image is smaller than the object. It is diminished. What about the orientation of the image? Is it inverted or upright? The image is upright. Move the object closer to the lens. Do the characteristics of the image change when the object is moved? The image of a concave or diverging lens is always virtual, upright and diminished. However, although always diminished compared to the original object, the size of the image is bigger as the object is placed closer to the lens. The aim of a ray diagram is to determine the location, size, 
orientation and type of image formed by a concave lens. An object is further than 2f from a concave lens. Determine the characteristics of the image formed. The image is located on the same side of the lens as the object. The image is virtual, upright, and diminished. Draw similar ray diagrams for the object located at 2F, between 2F and the focal point F, closer than the focal point F. What can you say about the characteristics of the image each time? A concave lens diverges light rays. It will never be able to form a real image. Diverging rays always form a virtual image. Virtual images are always upright. The image formed by a concave lens is always diminished. In conclusion, we can say that a concave or diverging lens forms only one kind of image, that is, virtual, upright, and diminished.